Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, big uh, blue square uh, A, B, C, D that consists of this uh, yellow shaded uh, square uh, A, P, T, E, the smaller rectangle uh, P, B, F, T, and this uh, larger rectangle uh, E, F, uh, C, D. As you can see in this given diagram, such that the area of this uh, smaller rectangle uh, has been given to us as uh, 35 uh, centimeter square whereas the area of this uh, larger uh, rectangle is uh, 62 centimeter square and bear in mind uh, that this uh, yellow shaded uh, is a square and the big blue box is the square as well and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded square APTE. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, yellow shaded square. So therefore I'm going to label uh, the area of this uh, yellow shaded square as uh, uppercase A. And now our task is to find the value of uh, uppercase A. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, larger rectangle EFCD. I am going to give it a green uh, color to make sure uh, we have this uh, white uh, rectangle. And this is we are going to call uh, the green rectangle. And here is our next step. I am going to label uh, the side length of this uh, yellow shaded square as uh, x. Then all of these uh, side lengths uh, of this uh, square are going to be x across the board. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, side PT is equal to this segment uh, BF. So therefore these two sides are going to be equal. So therefore, uh, if this side length uh, is x, then this uh, BF length has got to be x uh, as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, segment uh, PB length uh, is equal to this segment uh, TF length. If I label this one as uh, y, then this has got to be y as well. And now we can see the side length of this uh, big blue square is going to be the sum of these two individual lengths uh, x uh, plus y. So we can write uh, x uh, plus y. And since we are dealing with this uh, big blue square, so therefore uh, this side length uh, of this uh, square is going to be x plus y. This side length uh, is going to be x plus y. And finally this side is going to be x plus y as well. And now let's make an observation. We know this uh, segment uh, BF is uh, x and this whole length is uh, x plus y. So therefore this uh, FC length has got to be y. So therefore uh, this side uh, ED is going to be y as well. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, green uh, rectangle EFCD. And this uh, rectangle uh, PBFT, we are going to compare uh, these two rectangles. And now let's make an observation. We can see the width of this uh, green uh, rectangle is uh, Y. And likewise, uh, the width uh, of this uh, white rectangle uh, is Y as well. In other words, uh, their widths uh, are uh, identical. So therefore, uh, there has got to be a relationship uh, between their lengths uh, as well. I'm going to label uh, this uh, length of this uh, green rectangle as uh, 62 times some constant uh, k. Since the area of this uh, rectangle is uh, 62 centimeters square. So therefore, uh, this uh, length uh, of this uh, white rectangle is going to be 35 times some constant k as well. Since the area of this uh, white rectangle is uh, 35 centimeter square. And furthermore, we can see that this uh, side uh, CD is uh, 62 times some constant k. Then this uh, side uh, 
BC is going to be 62 times uh, K as well. But we know that uh, this uh, segment uh, BF is 35 times K. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining segment is going to be 62K minus uh, 35K is going to give us uh, 27 times uh, K. And now we can see our Y value turns out to be 27 uh, times K. And this is Y. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, is going to be 27 times uh, K as well. And furthermore, uh, we can see X value is uh, 35 uh, times K. So therefore, this X value is going to be 35 times uh, K. This X value is going to be 35 times uh, K. Likewise, this X value is 35 times K. And finally, this value is uh, 35 times K as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, white uh, rectangle uh, PBFT. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area is always equal to length uh, times width uh, of the rectangle. And in our case, uh, the dimensions uh, of this uh, white rectangle are uh, 35 times K and 27 times K. And at the very same time, the area of this uh, rectangle has been given to us as 35 uh, centimeter square as well. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So the area of this uh, rectangle is uh, 35 equals to the length uh, is uh, 35 times uh, K times the width is uh, 27 uh, times uh, K. Let's simplify. We can write down uh, 35 equals to 35 uh, times uh, 27 times uh, K square. And now I'm going to divide uh, both sides uh, by 35 times uh, 27. And I'm going to divide uh, this side uh, by 35 times uh, 27 uh, as well. And here we can see they cancel each other out on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, this 35 is gone with this 35. So therefore, we can see that our uh, K square value turns out to be 1 divided by 27. And here's our final step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow shaded uh, square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area is always equal to S square, where S represents the side length of the square. And in our case, uh, the side length of this uh, yellow square is uh, 35 times K. And the area is being represented by uppercase A. So therefore, uh, the area of the square A is going to be equal to our side length is uh, 35 times K whole uh, square. Let's simplify 35 uh, square uh, times uh, K square. And now we know that uh, 35 square is uh, 12, uh, 25. And our K square value we already figured out is uh, 1 divided by 27. So therefore, we can write uh, 12, uh, 25 times uh, the K square value is uh, 1 divided by 27. So therefore, we conclude that the area of this uh, yellow shaded square is going to be 12, 25 divided by 27 centimeter square. So thus, after all the calculations and manipulations, the area of this uh, yellow shaded square turns out to be 12, 25 divided by 27 centimeter square. And that is going to be approximately equal to 45.37 centimeter square as well. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.